Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. So let's make the comparison. In terms of vertex, the vertex when in this format, zero, zero. When the vertex is in this format, it's zero and whatever this value of k is will be the vertex or, or represent the y value of the vertex. In terms of axis of symmetry, remember as we said, the axis of symmetry is represented by whatever value of x is, okay, in the vertex. So x is equal to zero, x is still equal to zero for both formats. Direction of the opening, well, if A is positive, the opening is up. If A is negative, opening is down. And that goes for both versions. In terms of the pattern, whatever our A value is, multiplied by 135 for both versions. Maximum minimum value also depends on whether it's up or down. So if A is positive, we have a minimum, and that minimum is at Y is equal to zero. If the parabola is going downward, we have a maximum, and that maximum is also at y is equal to zero. And in terms of the k value here, if a is positive, the minimum value is at y is equal to k. So this is going to represent pretty much where is the location okay, of the max minimum value. Okay. And lastly, the range, again, if the parabola is opening up, we have a minimum, and the value is y is greater than and equal to zero. In terms of a being negative, parabola goes down. If the parabola goes down, we have a maximum value, and the value of y is any number less than and equal to zero. In terms of the, uh, the ver in, in, when it's in this format here, y, Okay, if A is equal to a positive value, it's up, again, minimum, but Y is any number greater than and equal to K. And when it's down, because the A value is negative, we have a maximum value, and it's Y is less than and equal to whatever this K value is in terms of graphing. Okay, so let's graph the following. Y is equal to negative 2X squared plus K. So we are going to be looking at this in terms of y is equal to ax squared plus k. That is the version that we've looked at. When we look at the following, we know that the vertex is in the form of zero and whatever our k value is. So in terms of this here, we have the vertex is at zero and our k value. What is our k value? Well, our k value is positive five. So here's the bit, first bit of information. So we know at zero and five, Okay, is where our parabola vertex will be. Okay, so now take a moment, complete the rest of this bit of information. Okay, complete the rest of this information. Um, so pause the video right now and try to complete the rest and try graphing this on your own. Welcome back. Okay, hopefully you have been able to complete the following um, parabola effectively. So let's take this up. The axis of symmetry, remember, whenever it's in this format, we know that whatever the x value was of the vertex. So the x value of this vertex is zero. So therefore, the axis of symmetry is x is equal to zero. Okay. Now, in terms of the direction of the opening, well, what is our a value? And our a value is a negative value. So the A value is negative, so therefore, because the A value okay, is negative, the parabola is going to go in a downward position. What is the pattern? Well, remember, the pattern is whatever our A value was multiplied by 1, 3, 5. So our A value is 2, or we can look at it as negative 2 because we are going downward. So the pattern is going to be 2 or negative 2 multiplied by 1, 3, 5. Thus giving us negative 2, negative 6, and negative 10. Maximum minimum value, well, because the parabola is going down, we know we have a maximum value. 
and the maximum value is wherever our k value was or our y value was of the vertex. So therefore, it's at y is equal to 5. And in terms of the range, well, if the parabola is going downward, right, from 5 or just from the point 0, 5, okay, the value of y is everything just below that. Okay? So our value of y is every number that is less than 5, but also equal to 5, because it includes 5. So let's start graphing this. So we have here, okay, and we're going to use our, uh, the, the red to show the movement. So in terms of the pattern now, we're using the pattern 2, 6, 10, but going downward. So we're going to move to the right one, as we always do, but now the pattern goes down two, okay? And we plot our point. We're gonna move to the right one and down six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? We're gonna move now to the right one and now down 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so, and we're going down to this point. So here we have 2, 6, 10 pattern. And now what we do with a ruler, oops, we just plot, or sorry, we connect the points. And remember, the parabola goes on forever. Now, in terms of, we've done now one side. And remember, we had this axis of symmetry that extends here at x is equal to 0. So all we have to do is find the points directly across from the ones that we've already plotted. And because we have the axis of symmetry from there, we have equal number of points from here to the axis of symmetry. Three units here, two units here, one unit here, and then just connect the points. Okay, and the last step, of course, anytime you're graphing something, make sure you label your equation with the correct 